Hello everyone and welcome back to another update video here for the Medic Zelda Master Connection. We are now on version 1.50 on PC. The update will eventually come out to consoles as well. Let's take a quick look at what's important here. I think the biggest update currently for the Master Collection is the update to Medic Zelda 2. Because finally in the pause menu when you tap pause here, you can also additionally get now with hitting the trigger buttons here get another pause menu, which is basically what we've already seen here from the 2D Metal Gear games in Metal Gear Solid 1 Master Collection, where now we can access the screen, info, the audio, the on the menu, and what's really cool, the reset game and return to main menu option. Reset game is something that was severely lacking from yet even the original release from 2001, and so I'm very happy that we have finally now a quick and easy way to reset a game. For example, if you're on a big boss attempt and you lose that rank, you would have to take a death, but now we can also just easily go pause the game, open this menu, reset the game, and then start again from the save they may made beforehand. Other than that, they fixed a portion of in-game text, cool, Steam input support, I thought that was already a thing, and some other minor issues. Then it's sort of free, we also have an update, as we can see here. Here they actually um, enhanced the options that we have already here. Now it's called additional settings and in the additional settings we can also now have here the audio settings with which we've seen before additionally we also have now mouse sensitivity that we can set and the other things like screen settings window mode access to the on the menu and of course go back to the main menu the mouse sensitivity option now is available for the third person view first person view and specifically for first person view aiming which seemingly can only be changed between fast and slow but still that is a great update so we can actually fine tune all of that a little bit more so i'm happy that we finally got this update as well for medical solid free other things are here fixed an issue where a portion of the character textures are displayed at a low resolution so that was previously fixed with a mod hopefully that's not needed anymore fix a portion of in-game text great and added steam input support once again i wonder if thoughts was already a thing and the things fixed an issue where inputs via the keyboard are registered in game, even while the alt key is held down. And of course, some minor issues. Some small updates have been coming out here for Medic Soul 1. Fixed an issue with certain cutscenes stop playing. Great. Fixed an issue with, in which analog input did not work as intended. This is not the 360 analog update, by the way. I have it tested already, um, and this is still not enabling the native 360 degree analog stick movement. You still only have 8 way movement even on stick. So unfortunately, this is not the update that we needed for Medic Sword 1 Master Connection. Interesting also, they removed the download option from the main menu. So you have to go right click the game and then go to the properties, go to DLC. I can show that right here. So right click the game, properties, go to DLC, and then you can check on which DLC you want to have for the game and then it will be downloaded. And last but not least, changes so that the window mode settings cannot be altered on Steam Deck. I'm not sure what this is news for. Uh, I don't have a Steam Deck, so maybe Steam Deck users can let me know in the comments down below if that's important or not. And of course, minor issues. Last but not least, of course, we also an update here for the 2D Metal Gear games. But there's simply also the option, edit the option to mute audio, fix the portion of in-game text, and edit Steam input support. And that's basically it. All the updates here for Metal Gear Master Collection. As I said, the update for Metal Gear 2, probably the best one out there quickly resetting the game i think is a great thing that we finally have here is we don't have to take a death or have to take a continue if you're playing on um, game over if discovered so that way we can even quicker reset a run especially if you're a speedrunner that's quite useful thanks for watching everyone i hope you have a nice day and i'll see you all in the next update Bye bye